Hi everyone, this is Somaj at this side. In today's video, we will be discussing about what topics one should prepare for interviews from computer science fundamentals, that is operating systems, DBMS and computer networks. So without further ado, let's get started. Whether or not you will have a round on computer science fundamentals in your interview look will completely depend on the type of company that you are trying to apply. But in any case, it is better you have an understanding of all the topics that we are going to discuss now. Let us start with operating systems. Operating systems is one of the most important course one should prepare if one is attempting an SDE interview. The topics that one should definitely cover under operating systems are Number one, segmentation. Everything about segmentation is important. Number two, paging. Number three, the concept of thrashing. Number four, starvation and starvation avoidance. Number five, deadlock and the causes for deadlock. Number six, everything about processes and threads are very important. The difference between the two and the makeup of both. Number seven, how a process or a thread is scheduled. So process scheduling algorithms and thread scheduling algorithms are extremely important in this case. And number eight, last but not the least, how a program is executed, how the memory management is done when the program is getting executed, where the variables are getting created, where the dynamic variables and static variables are getting created, who assigns spaces, who destroys spaces, and all about the same. Now, if we turn our focus into computer networks, I would say the topics of computer networks are one of the least asked topics in any SDE interview. This means that in the preparation ki priority, you can put it very low in computer networks. Generally, people don't ask questions from computer networks. Nahi hai. Phir bhi, all the topics that are generally asked if someone asks questions from computer networks are number one, the TCP and the UDP uh, protocols the difference between the two, their real-life applications, when a TCP protocol should be used, when a UDP protocol should be preferred over a TCP protocol, and the differences. Um, number two, uh, the TCP IP model as well as the OSI network model. The differences between the two and uh, the significance of each of the layers. Number three, one of the most important questions, one of the most frequently asked questions from computer networks is what happens when someone types a particular URL in the browser which means uh, it basically asks about uh, dns resolution so all the protocols related to it uh, becomes important and number four depending upon the role aap kis ke liye apply kar rahe ho uske hisab se interviewer aapko ye question bhi pooch sakta hai uh, from the topics of cookies and sessions uh, jaise ki what are cookies and what are sessions uh, which one is used when what is the difference between the two what are their real life applications and which one is preferred over the other now, if we move towards DBMS, it is the most, most frequently asked topics in any SDE interviews. DBMS se aapko question aayega hi aayega, chahe aap kisi bhi role ke liye apply kar rahe ho. So, DBMS se uh, jo frequently asked questions hai, wo hai, uh, what are indexes in DBMS? Uh, how indexes are used? How indexes are created? Uh, what, is, what are different types of indexes? Clustered and non-clustered indexes? single level and multi-level indexes uh, and all about indexing. Uh, then DPMS se ek aur question jo pucha jata hai, wo generally joins ke upar pucha jata hai. What are the different kinds of joins that are available generally? Apart from joins, queries bhi likhne ke liye pucha jata hai. So they also ask about writing different queries, uh, using these joins, writing some sub-queries. Uh, apart from that, they also ask uh, to write different uh, queries using limit and top uh, functions. So ye bahut important ho jata hai, prepare karna. Uh, apart from that, uh, DBMS may ask that many Kabibi need a Kai Kisiko be normalization to open question food stable. So, normalization up prepare Navy Karimi to which elega. The next important topic uh, is uh, obviously asset properties. Asset properties are both other questions puche jate. So, uh, that becomes very, very important. Uh, apart from asset properties, uh, transactions uh, becomes extremely important uh, in case of our DBMS. The next important topic from DBMS is hands down db design or database design jo ki logo se pucha jata hai db design ke questions generally aise aate hain ki you are given an application let's say a hotel booking application or a hotel management system or a uh, 
uh, book by show kind of an application and you need to design the entire database in order to supplement all the requirements that uh, you will be deciding with the interviewers so generally db design bahut hi zyada important ho jata hai kyunki db design pe questions bahut zyada aate hain uh make sure that you stay tuned to my channel because shortly i will be dropping database design uh videos as well uh, wherein i will be taking up all these topics and questions and i will be designing the entire database explaining why uh, i made uh, certain trade offs while doing those databases designs so that uh, you can get benefited from it last but not the least b and b plus three ke upar bahut zyada questions aate hain so make sure that you actually know the concept of b and b plus trees how they are made why we are choosing b and b plus trees and all those sort of things with this i come to the end of this video uh, as promised i will be giving out some frequently asked question from os uh, that is operating system uh, frequently from coding point of view uh, generally lru and lfu uh, process scheduling algorithms ke liye code likhne ke liye aa jata hai these questions can come as a uh, part of coding interview itself uh, wherein they might ask you to write the entire algorithm uh, code the entire algorithm for uh, lfu cache or lru cache so i will be dropping subsequently videos on lfu and lru apart from that they also ask questions such that they want to gauge your understanding of processes and threads the question that i recently came across on this topic is uh, that let's say you are given 20 cpu intensive tasks and you are given a four core cpu so how many threads you would spawn in order to do all those 20 tasks as fast as possible this small question is enough to actually understand whether or not you know about processes and threads and how the entire life cycle of a process works comment down below the answer to this question i will be answering this question in the next video so stay tuned for that in dbms apart from database design some of the uh, uh, conceptual questions that i have come across is uh, basically Uh, differences between b trees and b plus trees and why uh, b plus tree is used instead of a binary search tree uh, again comment down below the answer to this question and we can have great discussions on it uh, in the comment section i will be answering this question also in the next video that will be it for today guys uh, as usual subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that whenever i upload my next video you get notified i have added my instagram profile in the description uh, follow me there and dm me if you want to be part of my mock interview series i will be conducting that shortly i will be releasing a video about that soon uh, so if you do want to be part of that mock interview series uh, please uh, hit me up with a dm in instagram that will be it for today have a nice day everyone this is somya jit bidding goodbye das the danya